Hi everybody, Arky Rick here, Arky Homesteader Channel. Gonna <clears throat> do a little maintenance on my uh, chainsaw today, and I thought you guys might want to watch how to do it. Uh, we're gonna do a little bit of everything, just clean it up and uh, grease the bar, and also uh, sharpen the chain. First thing I'm gonna do is clean it up. saw lasts you a long time if you take care of it and you just got to learn basics on it it's not really that hard i've learned a lot off of youtube i watch youtube videos and uh, it teaches you just about anything but um this is an echo chainsaw i bought it at home depot and it's got to be 10 years old and uh, i've had no major breakdowns on it uh, mostly i think because i do maintain it and um you know, uh, when it does finally break bad, I try to fix it myself. And again, go on YouTube and you can find videos on just about anything. This is the nastiest part of the whole deal is blowing all this oil soaked uh, sawdust off of it. And my gosh, it sticks that. It sticks that more than it gets on your clothes and, and it just sticks it. But it has to be done. Come on up. Open up the top, it gives you access to the carburetor and the air filter. And uh, usually they're pretty dirty, also. Yep. All right, now that I got it pretty well blown clean, I'm going to uh, put the bar on. And uh, always grease the sprocket in it every once in a while. There's a little grease port right here. And you just push up and down with this grease gun. So you see the grease coming out a little bit. See how it started oozing out? There's another one on the other side. And you do the same thing there. That way it gets grease on both sides of the sprocket. You can get these at any place that sells chainsaw accessories. That's This one's made by Oregon. It lasts a long time. It's full of grease. And... Uh, Change, change it <coughs> greases up that front sprocket and you want to do that pretty often because that gets a lot of wear and tear and if it gets dry it won't spin and uh well let's see <laughs> ah, this should turn pretty easily that's no, not 
Well, it may be time to get a new bar. Yeah, that should turn pretty easily. And it's not turning. I can't I can't hardly get it to turn. It might be shot. I got it freed up, but it's time to get a new bar. Yep, we're going to have to get a new bar. So I'll continue this on after I get one. All right, I'm back from Home Depot. I actually ran to three different stores, and nobody had it. And uh, I finally got up to Home Depot, and they did have a generic brand that fits my saw. And uh, cost me 30 bucks with some change to get a new power bar. Wheel turns fine. And uh, came with a chain. So uh, we're just going to go ahead and replace the bar and the chain. I'm going to go ahead and grease the new bar, although it shouldn't need it. But I'm going to do it anyway. Since I'm doing it, working on it. Okay, we'll grease both sides. Okay, and then we'll take the bar, stick it on, and grab the chain. Just slip it over the sprocket, put it onto the bar, it's always a good idea to wear gloves when you're handling a chainsaw chain. They are very, very sharp and you can get cut very easily. So, anyway, there, there it is. It's on. Now we'll put the outer case back on. Adjust this screw back a little bit. There's a little pin that goes into a hole on the uh, bar and anytime you change the chain you always have to readjust that until it goes in there and as you can see it goes like so okay I got a couple of nuts that gotta go back on I was going to show you how to sharpen a chain but since this is a brand new chain it won't need sharpen so we'll make another video in another day. But this basically shows you how to replace your bar, put a new chain on it. And um, also uh, how to tighten it up. Go ahead and screw those two nuts on hand tighten. get my gloves back on so I don't cut myself all right then just take your take your bar make sure the nuts are snug but not tight I just take them just up to when I feel them grabbing just a little bit Okay, and then hold that bar up, take, hold it straight up, and then tighten your screw. And as you tighten the screw, it will tighten the chain. You'll see that bottom coming up here in a minute. There it goes. You'll feel it tensioning up. That looks pretty good. Finish tightening the nuts. I 
I see my wife is standing over there staring at me. I imagine she wants to say something to me. And she's not talking because I'm filming this. <laughs> oh. All right. And you can just... There it goes. Turns real good. Good and greased up there. And uh, the only other thing I'll do is check the oil in the gas. And she should be ready to go. Okay. I went and gassed her up and put oil in her. Let's start her up and see if she's working. She's running good, and uh, as you can see, when you put a new chain on a chainsaw and you fire it up, it gets loose. So I'm going to re-tighten it up, and then after I do that, she'll be ready to use. One last thing that came to mind before I end this video is I just thought I'd show you. I carry a little toolbox. I, every time I go out with my chainsaw, I take this toolbox with me and it has all my tools for my chainsaw. I can sharpen a chainsaw, usually repaired in the field. Um, it has everything I need in it to uh, accomplish that feat. And I carry extra chains. I carry some wedges in it. And uh, just about uh, all the things you can need when you're out in the field. And uh, my chainsaw is ready to go now. And uh, hopefully you guys learned something from this video. And if you like it, please subscribe, and uh, we'll be seeing you again. Thank you.